In Crohn's disease, the body's immune system attacks healthy tissue in the digestive tract, mistaking it for a foreign intruder. The attack results in irritation and inflammation, which in turn can cause abdominal pain, bloating, and diarrhea. There is no cure, but steroids and monoclonal antibodies can reduce symptoms. Since Crohn's is a disease of the digestive tract, the possible role of diet in its prevention and treatment has been extensively explored with some interesting and surprising findings. Most of the dietary information comes from prospective studies in which cohorts of healthy people fill out food frequency questionnaires and then are followed to see what ailments they develop. The onset of Crohn's has been found to be associated with a diet that contains double the protein as suggested by dietary guidelines, the consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages, and ultra-processed foods. Some protective factors have also been discovered. Docosahexaenoic acid, or DHA, as found in fish oil, dairy foods, fiber, polyphenols in fruits and vegetables, and dietary potassium and zinc seem to reduce the risk of Crohn's disease. The Mediterranean diet, rich in whole grains, fruit, vegetables, legumes, nuts, olive oil, and which includes moderate amounts of seafood, dairy, wine, and little red meat, seems to be in line with factors that reduce the risk of Crohn's. Exercise, proper body weight, and healthy sleep pattern also appear to reduce risk. Confusion enters the picture when it comes to the treatment of the disease. Effective treatments that can lead to remission are in contrast to the Mediterranean diet. Most effective is enteral nutrition, meaning that nutrients are consumed in a liquid form. A typical formula would contain no lactose, gluten, or fiber, and includes the milk protein casein, other proteins from whey or soy, and carbohydrates in the form of maltodextrin, sucrose, glucose syrup, or cornstarch. Such an enteral diet, which actually falls into the ultra-processed category, is difficult to follow, but even partial enteric nutrition combined with a diet of chicken, eggs, potatoes, apples, and bananas seems to work. This is curious, because the high intake of animal protein and low fiber content are exactly what is associated with the risk of developing Crohn's disease. It seems that prevention and treatment have different requirements. Now we get to the most surprising observation. Harvard researchers report a number of case studies in which significant clinical improvement in Crohn's disease was seen in patients following a carnivore diet. This is an extreme ketogenic diet in which all carbohydrates are eliminated and only animal-based foods are consumed. It has been theorized that the benefits are due to the low fiber content that triggers a change in the composition of the microbiome or an, an alteration in immune activity caused by ketone bodies like hydroxybutyrate generated by the liver when carbohydrates are eliminated. This is highly speculative, with no evidence. But the fact is that a number of Crohn sufferers report remission by following a carnivore diet. It should, of course, be mentioned that a carnivore diet has been linked with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer and flies in the face of current dietary advice that favors a plant-based diet. However, it is understandable that someone in the midst of a Crohn's flare-up would want to give it a try based on the, albeit anecdotal reports gathered by the Harvard researchers. That for today is our Cup of Joe.